Welcome back. In this video, this is our first two weeks in the bus in a campsite. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is, is our bus. bus. see how heavy our Daisy the Diesel is, which is her name by the way, Daisy the Diesel. Let's see how heavy she is. Oh, she's a big girl. 12,450 pounds. Okay, so here's the situation. I had to stop to get gas and Alice went ahead and Daisy. We're taking two cars up because we're trying to find our youngest apartment. So we have two cars so that we don't have to drive the bus around because it's really expensive on gas. Maybe they're about 17 miles from our off ramp and I'm probably about 27 miles from our off ramp. So we're almost there to the campsite where we'll be at for two weeks. But it is a little bit frustrating, but I think I'm just gonna take a moment to kind of be present in the moment and not worry too much since we don't really have a schedule for today. I think we may have found Daisy. This is the exit they got off on. Oh, I see them. She's on the side of the road. Hello, can you hear me? We found Daisy. Now we're gonna to go to our campsite. It took a little bit longer than we thought. It was our first time splitting up and Alice and I both decided that we probably shouldn't have split up. Split up. It was way too much stress trying to figure out where each other was. But we were able to find each other and now we've got 59 miles on a highway to our campground which will be awesome because this has been a very what's well, a long trip but actually i didn't feel that long i think we have a different mindset like i don't feel like we're racing anywhere which is awesome the first spot we're camping at is at Promontory Park, which is outside of Estacada, Oregon, which is near Gresham. We picked here because it's close to town where we're looking for an apartment for our child. And it's a beautiful spot. It's on a river that's been dammed up, so there's a long river here and a deep valley. Really beautiful. And tomorrow we're going to rent a boat and go up and down the river for a couple hours. Well, we ran out of power. So we've been camping here at Promontory Park, which is a beautiful campsite with tall trees and it's really nice in the campsite, but there's no sun. And even putting the little portable 100 watt solar panels out in the sun as it came slowly through camp was not enough. So we made it four and a half days and then last night we completely lost power. So this morning we moved the bus down to the little parking spot here, put all the solar out and ran the engine for over an hour. The total output with all the solar and the engine was about 800 watts. So we get a lot of power, but it takes a lot to charge up the batteries. So we've been living in the bus for like a week and this bench doesn't work because the foam mattress is too thick to be able to sit on here. You're basically sitting like with half a cheek on there. We have a <coughs> giant toolbox that we want, or oh, you're sitting on it. <laughs> we have a giant toolbox that we want to put underneath, but if every time we have to get to it when we're frustrated and angry and just probably hot because that's when the bus is going to break down when it's or really cold. hot or really cold. We don't want to have to lift it over this bar. So we're going to take this bench out, make sure we are okay with it. We're going to hang on to the cushions and then most likely we're going to let this bench go and not have a bench here. But it means that we have to use this bench. And do you see who's on that bench? Um, if we want to use a bench in here or do work in here, but we think that'll be okay because most of the time he is on the bed So we've been in the bus for a week and we're already doing renovations. <laughs> yes, let's get to it So I'm gonna be camera woman right now and hold the camera for Alice. I can't see myself So I might be really close. Oh here. Here's what's actually happening <laughs> Alice broke I the stripped bit. out the bit. The bit <laughs> is stripped out. This is becoming so much fun. <laughs> Do we have another one? <laughs> she may not have another one. Our youngest was getting rid of the snake and we came into the bedroom and Cypress had curled up against it. So now we have a snake that lives in our bus. Oh, look at that, two screws. Oh my 
my god, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it's a different size. There's a different size of these. Cypress is our helper. Do you have like a manual one? Oh, it broke. Oh, can you see that? It actually split the uh, oh, yeah, you broke the that casing. One. Okay. So the sleeve broke, but I was able to separate the two and hopefully just the bit will work. But it would be nice to get that sleeve back. There we go. So we're going to try it this way and see if we like it without the bench. Look at how hot and sexy it is that she lifted that. Woo, sexy Ready? lady. Okay. 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 Come follow me then. I made, um, our youngest crochets and I made a little crochet shelf. I think it looks really cute and I feel happier about it because it's fun. Well, we have had a challenging time with power camping in the woods. We ran out of power again. So I ran some calculations and it turns out we had only recharged the batteries to about 40% maybe last time. Uh, if that and our sensor on the smart shunt was set wrong so we thought we had 80% power but turns out we had like 5% power so we lost power again last night so we're trying to recharge again today using all the solar and the engine but it's going to take eight hours to a hundred percent charge the batteries which is a lot <laughs> so that was our first two weeks in the bus uh, it went really well. Uh, we didn't film that much in the campsite because our youngest doesn't want to be on YouTube, uh, but in the future we'll be filming more of what we actually do in our time. We were able to rent a boat on Monday because it's half price, so we were able to take the cat on the pontoon boat, which was fun. Um, we're not sure if he really liked it, but he did finally calm down and lay down a little bit. He did try to see if he could get off the boat, but then he realized he was surrounded by water. So. <laughs> We also have spent a couple of weeks now figuring out what we want to fix. We were planning on having a nice relaxing weekend up at a campsite, but now we are going to be doing some construction. The first two weeks has definitely been a learning curve, but yes. we're getting there. And just, you know, just little things that you know when you take things out for the first time, you've got to like fix up a little bit. So the two weeks were a great learning experience. We were able to discover what we wanted to adapt about the bus, but just little things. The overall build is amazing and we're really happy with that. It felt so good to just be out there in nature. And in fact, like even now, like we prefer to be outside than inside. So mm -hmm. I think it's really been the right choice for us. And we're really excited to be able to keep going and to keep exploring because it was a lot of fun. We're just really happy about that. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.